Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we are going to read a very important chapter from the Bible as we read 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 from the King James Version Bible. Here it says the events preceding the day of the Lord. Now brethren, concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and are gathering together to him, we ask you not to be soon shaken in mind or trouble either by spirit or by word or by letter, as if from us, as though the day of Christ has come. Let no one deceive you by any means, for that day will not come unless the folly away comes first and the man of sin is revealed the son of perdition who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped and that he sits as God in the temple of God showing himself that he is God. Do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you these things? And now you know that what is restraining that he may be revealed in his own time. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains will do so until he is taken out of the way and then the lawless one will be revealed whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. The coming of the lawless one is according to to the working of Satan with all power, signs, and nine wonders, and with all unrighteous deception among those who perish because they did not receive the love of the length that they might be saved. And for this reason, God will send them strong delusion that they should believe the lie that they all may be condemned with who did not believe the truth but had pleasures in unrighteousness. The comfort of the believer on the day of the Lord. But we are bound to give thanks to God always for you Brethren, beloved by the Lord, because God from the beginning chose you for salvation through sanctification by the Spirit and belief in the truth, to which he called you by our gospel for the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which you were taught, whether he, whether by word or our epistle. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and our God and Father who has lived in and given us every lasting consol consolation and good hope by grace, comfort your hearts and establish you in every good work and work. Amen. Here ends the reading of Second Thessalonians chapter 2. May God bless the reading. We saw the various points, the events preceding the day of the Lord and the comfort of the believer on the day of the Lord. Amen.
Amen. God bless you. Amen.